Hey guys, uh, welcome to another episode of uh, How to Be an Adult with me, uh, your host. <laughs> so today we're doing a little After Effects tutorial. Uh, a couple of videos ago, I was talking about pursuing your creativity, stuff like that. I'm gonna link the video up in the cards. I employed a technique where I would have my uh, computer screen sitting behind me and at some points, different videos will show on it. I wanted to make like a cool effect that would grab the attention and make you look. I did a little glitch effect. I found a tutorial online, I don't remember where I found it, but, uh, but I think the way I organized my layers and everything was a bit more practical, so just wanted to share that with you. It's nothing uh, original, I'm pretty sure there are tons of glitch effect tutorials out there, there are tons of plugins, but I think this is a really easy way that uh, it's not like resource heavy for your uh, computer and for After Effects to render after that and uh, it's pretty easy to do and the best part is that with employing a simple expression you get to control the whole thing with just a single slider. Let's go ahead and usually what I do is I look through my archives and find some time lapse that I never got to anything because it wasn't as good as I wish it was or it just didn't tie up into my video. And I start working on that. I try to make it better and better every time because I love shooting time lapses and I love editing time lapses. Today we're looking at how to recreate this like back uh, background monitor glitch effect where you can like incorporate different footage within your video. It works great for like referencing old videos that you made or when you're doing like a top 10 videos about anything story. So what I have here is uh, my timeline with a few instances of my time lapses that are shown behind me as I talk about uh, time lapses. I also have a glitch control and I have the video that I'm putting Odos on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate the different channels for the time lapses composition and we're gonna use corner pin to put each and every one of them right over the monitor and then we're gonna do the glitch effect that we're gonna control by a centralized glitch control slider. Go and create a new composition, like 20 seconds should be okay. Grab my video, the one that I took and I'm also gonna grab my time lapses video as well. What we need to do here first is, let's scale this down a bit. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the corner pin to prop that here. Go and find the corner pin effect. And then what we wanna do is bring that over here. I'm gonna put my corner pins exactly in the edge, exactly on the edges. Okay, make sure you align those pretty good. I have some glow here from what's originally on the screen, but it's pretty small, so I can just cut a bit more. Because I don't see the rest of my monitor, I'm, I, I have to assume and just try and keep it, like, not bend it too much. I think that, that looks pretty good. So what we're gonna do next is uh, apply the split channels. No, wasn't split channels. Shift channels, sorry to my time lapses video. And here we have the uh, where it should take the alpha, the red, the green, and the blue. I want to have this copied three times. Move it around here. In case there's some camera movement in your background video, then you can use the corner pin tracking tool, which is here under the tracker. So just keep in mind that this will take a long time for, uh, for After Effects to track. So what I'd suggest is like try and get a steady shot and then use some natural camera shake effect or something like that. But uh, we're not gonna worry about that here, just gonna get across the main concept. So now that I have my uh, time lapses with my shift channels, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy them two more times and the first one I'm gonna leave red and I'm gonna turn off the green and the blue. The next one 
I'm gonna turn off the red, leave the green and turn off the blue. And the next one, I'm gonna leave the blue on. What I'm gonna do next is switch the blending mode to Add. And it appears kind of blown out right now. This is because it would usually add the three layers properly and come up with uh, like the like the regular video. But because we're using add on all of those, it's actually adding the initial screen on the bottom. What we can do here is create a new shape layer and just fill it with a solid color with black. We don't want any stroke and just go in and create a shape and now you see it properly what we have to do now is make sure that this shape aligns with our corner pins okay and now we can see all the channels blending in perfectly it wasn't as good as i wish it was or you see that it's, it now appears perfectly fine, even though we have three layers. What we're gonna do next is add a no object and call this glitch control. Here we're gonna add expression controls, a slider control. This is gonna be our slider, the one that we're going to control everything with. So for the first channel here, the transform and the position, I'm gonna click Alt, Alt click on the position to write an expression and just gonna use wiggle, let's say 17. And after that, we're gonna use the pick whip, but oh, we need to connect that to our control. We don't see it, so we're gonna go back to glitch control and lock this in place, and then come back here, use the pick whip to get that, and close the brackets parentheses, and that's it. So now, if we increase this thing here, you can see that we're moving the red channel out, and because you're using Wiggle. It's gonna be wiggling around. What we need to do now is repeat that for the rest of our clips. Position, wiggle, 17, use the pick whip and get our slider. Actually, I think that 17 might be a bit too much. So let's just go with 15, both places. Third layer. Okay, and that's it. Let's close all those. So all we need to do now is just use the glitch control to animate it. Let's say here it's gonna be at 10 and about here we want it to be 10 again. You, you can press U to reveal all the animated um, properties of a, of a layer. And on the next frame, it's gonna be zero. We want it to stop abruptly. It's a glitch effect. And then at the end, we're gonna do the same. At the end, it's gonna be 10. And then a few frames before that, it's gonna be 10 again. And one frame before that, it's gonna be zero. And that's it. It glitches and then it stops. And at the end, it glitches and disappears. Okay, let me just trim the shape layer. And that's it. That's that's pretty much how to do this effect in After Effects. Now let's render that and take a look. Usually what I do is I look through my archives and find some time lapse that I never got to anything because it wasn't as good as I wish it was or it just didn't tie up into my video. And I start working on that. I try to make it better and better every time because I love shooting time lapses and I love editing time lapses. Okay guys, I hope you learned something new. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. And also don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. It helps a lot. And maybe even hit the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Till then, thank you for watching and see you next time.